Are you trying to get a phone number activated in Goha level in New Zealand? This is going to be the video for you. Okay. So guys, my name is Martin. I'm from Kiwi Techs. We specialize in providing SMS services for Goha level companies in New Zealand. Uh, if you're on this channel by now, you're probably aware that you can't do SMS in natively inside Goha level, which has probably brought you along to me. Um, now, this video specifically uh, is going to be about how to get a verified phone number in Goha level for calling, okay? How to get a regulatory bundle and address so that you can get a landline number inside Goha level. Now, you cannot get a mobile number, okay? It is not possible. Stop searching for it. You're not going to be able to find it. It is not possible. You cannot do it, all right? But you can get a landline number for calling and then use an external provider like, like me, like KiwiTex for SMS. We are the only provider for New Zealand. Um, you know, you'll find that out eventually with doing your research and stuff. That's not what this video is about. This video is going to be about having you getting set up with a regulatory bundle to get a landline phone number for calling. Okay, so if you come into Goha level here and you go into phone numbers and you want to get a phone number, uh, as you probably already know by now, if you click add number and go to add phone number, uh, you will have to, you won't be able to get a, a New Zealand phone number without a regulatory bundle and address. So you, uh, now I'm on Lead Connector, not Twilio. So this video is going to be about Lead Connector. If you want one on Twilio, I am going to make a separate video about how to get one on Twilio. It's a slightly different process. So come over here and click on regulatory bundle and address. Now I've actually already done a couple here and I made a mistake on the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it again and show you how it works. Um, so just ignore these ones that are already here. So go, I'm going to go ahead and click create and I'm going to start by hitting address bundle first. Okay, then go ahead and click next. And I'm just going to give it any name. This name doesn't matter. This is more of a nickname. This could be your branding name, not your legal name of the company. Um, and uh, under customer name, this is where you're going to put the actual name of the company. So whether you're doing this for yourself, whether you're doing it for a customer, the process is the same. So the easiest way to do this is actually to go to the New Zealand Companies Register, uh, New Zealand Companies Office, and find the company that you're looking for, whether it's yours or whether it's one of your customers. And you're going to come over here and you're going to click on Certificate of Incorporation. Uh, and you're going to open that document. And then you're also going to grab the company extract as well and you're going to open that document they are two completely separate documents uh, come back to corporation open that one oh, I don't know why it's got two so I'm gonna I've downloaded both of these documents here so I've got the company extract and the certificate of incorporation so I'm gonna grab the name of of the company and I'm gonna put that in this customer name section here okay now under the address, I'm going to go to the company extract and I'm going to grab the registered office address. Okay. And I'm going to put that in here as well. All right. And then I'm going to select and, and it's really, really important, really important to make sure that the, the, the data that you're putting in fully matches. Okay. You do not want to be putting uh, different data in and slightly different address or whatever. It's not going to work and you're going to have problems if you do that. Okay. So you want to put that in there. So this address here, everything, the name, the address, everything must match what's on this document. All right. Now you're going to go ahead and hit submit. Now it's automatically, it's going to say it's under review, but it's automatically actually going to validate that address. So you can see I've got that address validated there. They're both called KiwiTex. It doesn't really matter uh, that I've got two. Uh, it's just because I, again, I made a mistake with the video. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and hit create and you're going to hit now you're going to hit regulatory bundle. All right. Now, again, go ahead and choose your country here. And you're going to select business and you're going to select local numbers. All right. You cannot get a mobile number. Don't bother trying again. Uh, I'll repeat myself. Do not bother trying. It is not possible. All right. Um, you can get a toll free bundle, but you actually don't need it. Just just click local number. You can use this bundle to still buy a toll free number if you want. All right. Go ahead and hit next. Now you're going to put your business name in here again. The same business name. It has to match. Very specific. Hit next. Uh, and then now under business name, you're going to upload and you're going to upload the one of those two documents, the one without the address. So the certificate of incorporation, you're going to upload that one. And again, you're going to put the business name in and hit update documents. That's the one you want. Excerpt from the commercial register. Okay. So hit that first one, not the business registration. You want the excerpt from the commercial register. Now under business address, you're going to upload the other document, the one that has the address on it, the company extract. Okay. Open for that one. 
and I'm gonna tick this one as make sure this is really important. Don't select the first option, select the second option, okay? Business registration showing the local address and you're gonna choose the address. I've got two as I said, but you can only choose, you just choose one. Hit update documents and submit. Now, if you submitted this just like I did, you can I, you can virtually guarantee that that will be approved within a couple of days, all right? Um, just check back once a day to see if it's approved, it will be approved. Once it's been approved, come back to manage numbers, click create number, add phone number, and you can add a phone number, a local landline number, uh, and use the address and regulatory bundle as a part of getting that phone number. It will definitely work, okay? So that's it guys, that's how you do a regulatory bundle. Really simple on Lead Connector. I will do another video for Twilio as well. Now, again, if you're looking for SMS services, uh, KiwiText is your only option in New Zealand. Uh, I'll put the link below. You can visit our website and have a look at what it costs, how it works. Uh, it's really, really simple, so nice and easy solution. Uh, feel free to reach out to me as well if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing. Take care. <clears throat>